Today I'm going to show you how to install Plasma on an Arch Linux install. This is a fresh Arch Linux install that I have, so I haven't done anything with it yet. And I'm at the login screen, so I'm going to log in with my root account. And before I do anything else, I'm just going to make sure my system's updated. So I'm going to do pacman base dash syu. And I am completely up to date. You might have some packages that need to be updated, so go ahead and do that. Uh, but I'm good there. So what the packages that we're going to be installing today is one of them is called xorg or x for short. That's going to be our display server. We'll install the plasma package, which of course is the desktop environment. We're going to install plasma Wayland session. And then we're going to install KD applications, which is going to give us things like the calculator, um, you know, a stopwatch, calendar, calculator, all those different things. So the first thing that we want to do is create a user account because we won't be able to log in as root once we get our desktop environment set up. So we will have to have a standard user account that we can use to log in. So to do this, I'm going to do user add base dash M, and then we're going to call it whatever we want to call the account. In my case, I'm going to use JSON. I'm doing the dash M in there because that'll create our home directory. I'm going to go ahead and press enter. And then we're going to put a password on this account. So pass WD. And then the name of the account that we want to give the password. And let's type in that new password. And the password was updated successfully. Now the next thing we need to do, clear the screen. So the next thing we need to do is there's this file in the Etsy slash, uh, it's called sudoers. So we're going to give our account we just created sudoer access. So you can use nano or vim or whatever text editor you want to use to edit that file. I'm going to use vim. So we'll do sudo vim slash etsy slash sudoers. Here's the file we'll be editing. We're actually going to scroll down. All these hash marks in here are going to be comments. And I'm just using J to go down and K to go up. So there's a section here called user privilege specification. I'm going to press I to insert, and I'm actually going to insert this line right underneath the root account. And whatever the account name you used that you created in a previous step, you'll type that in here. So I'll do JSON, and then it's going to be the same text above. So all equals parentheses all close the parentheses space all like that we'll press the escape key to get out of insert mode and back into normal mode and then we're going to save this file so to save this file it's going to be colon w lowercase w q exclamation point and the file has been written Next thing we're going to do is we're going to install our packages. I'm going to clear the screen. So we'll do pacman base dash capital S. And then we're going to install xorg plasma plasma Wayland session. And then we want the KDE applications. You don't have any spelling errors. Be xorg, not xorked. Xorg, just like that. Enter. And it's going to say to install xorg, you're going to need all these extra packages. I'm going to proceed. Install plasma, you're going to need all these packages. I'm going to proceed. For KDE applications, you're going to need all of these packages. I'm going to proceed. And there's going to be some. Um, other options in here like fonts and everything else. So I'm just going to use the defaults. And it's going to give us our total download size and how much it's going to be in size after the install. That looks fine. I'm going to go ahead and press Y. 
And since this is about 1400 megabytes to download, this is going to take some time. And then it's going to install after this. So I'll let this finish and I'll be back. Okay, that was done. I'm going to clear the screen. Now, before we reboot the machine, there's a few more things that we need to do. So, we need to enable a service called SDDM. That's Simple Desktop Display Manager. We'll do System CTL Enable SDDM dot service. And then we'll make sure that our network is up. So we'll do system CTL enable uh, network manager dot service. Okay, that's good. So let's just type in reboot and we'll see if we get our desktop environment up. Hey, 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 look at that. Everything looks good. Um, I'm going to log in with this user account and if you didn't notice this is the user account I created right before we installed. So far so good. All right. Got wallpaper. Uh, let's go into Conqueror. See if we can hit a website. We'll do archlinux.org. Not help if I spelt it right. Archlinux.org. There's the Arch website. That looks good. We have Dolphin, our file manager. Then let's see if we got our KDE applications. Emoji selector. We have games, arcade games. Ooh, Bomber. Welcome to Bomber. Click start a game. So that looks good. And that should get you started with the Plasma desktop. So. I hope this video helps. Click subscribe below if you want to get my latest and greatest videos I put out. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, everyone.